I'm Xavier Rousset, one of the owner and co-founder of 2850 Restaurant, which is a wine-orientated restaurant. Today, the idea is to go through how to taste wine. It has to be kind of a relaxed and very informal approach. Having said that, there's still four things to remember. When you do taste wine, is the visual aspect of the wine. The smell gives you a lot of information. Tasting the wine, obviously, is very important. That's why we like to open bottles and drink the wine. And then the last one is the conclusion, which is drawn from the first three parts. So this is the, all those four key elements makes wine to be more of a pleasure, understanding it better, still being kind of relaxed and approachable, which wine should be all about. Let's take those four key elements for the wine tasting and let's go and enjoy some uh, classic red wine. I've chosen three different ones. Um, we've got a Pinot Noir, a Syrah and a Cabernet Sauvignon. So those are the three classic red varieties from three different countries, actually. Um, step by step, and we're gonna, we're gonna first taste. Look at the Pinot Noir, from the lightest to the more powerful. So Pinot is always light, fruity, and soft. This is why people drink a lot of it. This is why we love it, because it's so easy going. This one is from New Zealand, and, and Pinot is very important to get from a cool climate. One indication, just by looking at the wine, the cooler, the climate, the lighter the wine is. It's all to do with the ripeness level. And also, we have to keep in mind that the best wine are always made where really the, it's hard to grow, so they need to really work at it. If you give too much sunshine to the Pinot, you get darker color, more extraction, more ripeness, and not, it's not Pinot Noir anymore. If you take it in the glass and you swirl it, and it really sticks to the glass because it's full of sugar and high level of alcohol. What is important to remember is the edges. The older it gets, the more it loses color. And it starts by doing on the edges. So it becomes tony color, like a tony port. We all know the tony port. It's because it's been aged for a while. So that's quite specific. It gives you an indication of the maturity level. So maturity level is very important to remember. Now on the nose, like I said, we love the, the Pinot aromatic, quite exuberant, lovely red raspberries, strawberries, a bit spicy, a bit peppery. Some of them can be a bit leafy, slightly you know, with green, green edges. Keep in mind that each grape variety has got a flavor profile. We love Pinot because it's very soft, smooth, level of tannins are fairly low, and the level of acidity fairly high. Pinot Noir makes, a, you know, it can age Pinot Noir for a long time, but it's all based on its acidity. Acidity is the backbone. Without acidity, especially on Pinot, the wine is flat. So you don't want that. You want lovely freshness, brightness. So that's, that's, on, the, that's on the Pinot. Uh, you, look at, you're going to see the color. I mean, it's going to be dramatically different. Look. Now this is a Syrah. Look, it's a lot more purple. So this is a classic uh, Syrah from the Northern Rhone, Saint Joseph 2010. It's not rocket science to compare the color. Lighter the color, cooler climate, and also the grape varieties. Obviously, some grape variety will give you more color than others. All to do with the ripeness, the skin, and the extraction that the winemaker wants sometimes. But look, this is a lot more purple, a lot more ruby color, and the edge is, it's very young, it's 2010, so it's very purple on the edge. If you come back in five years, you'll, you'll be a lot more tony, orangey, and brick color. I love Syrah for the pepperiness, minty, and it's very spicy. It's quite a rich wine, it's quite robust. Syrah thrives in a Moderate climate, quite warm to moderate climate. Obviously, we know some Shiraz from Australia, which is kind of hot. Where Pinot is very soft, Syrah has got a lot more punch. Firmer structure, firmer tannins, without going extreme. And that can go on for another 10 years, easily. This is one of those varieties that can do so well over the years. It's really something. So, where Pinot Noir leaves off is acidity, Syrah is a bit of both, a bit of tannins, a bit of acid. Not too much of either. If you compare with the, the last one, which is a Cab, Cabernet Sauvignon. Again, dark color, Australian Cabernet Sauvignon. So it's even bigger, darker in color. It's a color, hot climate. Again, a fairly young 2009 Cabernet Sauvignon. This is oh, very um, aromatic, very exuberant. So sometimes the first, if you put your nose on those two, you'll notice straight away there's a big difference. So this is very open very um, eucalyptus, you get that in some cabernet from Australia, black currant, a bit jammy, even on the, you get a bit of oak, oak aging, it's something you notice because it gives you a little bit of sweet spices, cinnamon, 
you know, vanilla on the white and sometimes on the red too, actually. But you get this lovely, sweet, aromatic spice. Lovely, but smooth, balanced. Cabernet will make, um, can age forever. I mean, sort of the top border we, we taste, we know it's mainly Cabernet Sauvignon. And it can be 20, 30, 40 years old. Cabernet leaves off its tannins. Again, the backbone for Cabernet is more tannin, where the backbone of, say, Pinot Noir is more acidity. And because of that, we really can push it another five, 10 years easily. So three totally different styles, totally different climate, classic grape variety, light, soft, really sexy Pinot, a bit spicy Syrah, a bit firm, and a slightly jammy Cabernet Sauvignon, rich and robust. You have to taste it at different temperature. Temperature can really kill the wine and really make it so much better. The lighter the wine, the less tannins, the less, the, the less firm and dry, the cooler you can put it. So Pinot Noir is a perfect example. You can cool it down a bit at say 12 degrees, 13, where the, the more structured one, Cabernet and Syrah, you, can, you, have to, you have to raise the temperature because otherwise the tannins will make even harder and even firmer. And you don't want that. You want to enjoy. This is all about maximizing the enjoyment and the pleasure of drinking the wine.